Okay, math time. I've thought this through pretty carefully, so I'm hoping this is really clear for you guys. I have here just a piece of scrap paper. Um, I have a piece of paper cut to the height of my book times the width of my spine, which in my case will be one inch. So take your folios, press them lightly together, and take your ruler, and I come up with an inch. And depending on what kind of paper you're using, I'm using Stonehenge as usual. It depends on the width of your paper. But try to get enough pages in there to make it about an inch um, or, or more. I would say an inch is the smallest spine you would want to use. Because we're putting all of these holes in, in, in the spine and they can be staggered as I've done, it just looks cooler to use at least an inch of spine and um, so just add more papers as needed. They can just simply be added to the signatures, whatever weight paper you're using. So I have my spine template here. And this is going to show me what my spine will look like. So in this case, first off, we need to, I'm going to look at this book. And you don't want any more than... Uh, I mean any less than about a half an inch from the top and the tail of your book. So taking your spine, let me mark anywhere here. This is just on my template. A half an inch and a half an inch top and tail. Okay, so um, this is everything. There's your first two stations. So we'll put one here and one here. But do use your um, triangle. And the deal with the triangle is line up this lower edge right on the edge. And then you'll see where line is. You can even lightly draw it in. And you want to stay close. I have this at looks like about a quarter inch, I mean, a little less than a quarter inch from the edge of that paper. And let's let's just put another mark over here about a quarter inch. Mine was more like, was less than a quarter inch, so I'm going to use that. And again, I'm going to flip my triangle, line it up with the bottom carefully, and draw your line. Okay? So there is your first two lines of stitching. And how we're just going to split the difference here. So I'm going to put another one here and another one here. I am not a big measurer. I'm a big eyeballer. But you certainly can measure and divide by three. So again, I'm going to flip. And I promise this is the hardest part of this book. And it, it does take a little thinking. But the results, I'll see that line went way off, so let's get rid of that line. And the eraser. I don't know why that line went way off, but it did. So let's try that again. This really is a huge triangle. If you have a smaller one, you're better off. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay. So now we just need to designate pairs. So the first pair is two, the second pair is three, the second, third signature is two, and the fourth and final signature is one, two, three um, pairs of P. 
piercing stations. So I'm just going to go along with this book and just do two in that first signature. And then the second signature, I will change this up a little bit. So again, I'm going to use my eraser and get rid of that line. And I'm going to place this one, two, and I'm going to actually, looking at this, I'm realizing I like this to have three and the second signature to have two. So, and this is the fun of this. You can actually take, just take your scrap paper and decide. I want one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, etc. And just make little sketches for yourself and, and, you know, that way you can have an idea when you go into this. But as long as you do stagger them, um, you'll be fine. It's a small area to work with, which is why you want to stagger them so you don't risk um, tearing your paper. And if you're using fabric paper, you're probably better off, but you can certainly do this. And there you have it. This is your key, your legend, so that when we go to the templates, we have this legend.